LSPDs, welcome to another LSPDFR patrol. If you're not familiar with LSPDFR, it's a modification for GTA 5 on PC that allows you to become a police officer. Today we're taking a look at a new car to LSPDFR.com. This is the 2014 Dodge Charger unmarked by Straight Glitches. I've updated the Google Mod document to include a link to this vehicle if you're interested in downloading it. You can get to that document by going to discord.gg slash FTM. So this vehicle, uh, from what I can tell, is, is really well done. We'll take a look at the lighting setup here to begin with. So here's stage one. It's got um, lights in the reverse lights, which I like blue and red LEDs. Stage two. And then uh, there's stage three. Also has a really nice uh, bumper, push bumper right there with the uh, stacked LEDs on it. I think this car looks really fantastic. If we take a look on the inside, you can see this is what we're working with. Everything looks well laid out. You'll notice we do not have a partition. So uh, if we have to transport anybody, we'll just keep that in mind. Hands line up. Looks like we're good to go. So we're gonna start today's patrol. Uh, we're actually in a modified uniform from what I typically do. We're going to try to bust up some prostitution that we're dealing with here in Los Santos. We'll try to hit up some hot spots, see if we can catch anybody in the act and uh, make some arrests. And then after that, maybe we'll do some call outs. So dispatch wing in 18, go ahead and show me 1041 10 8. Let's get this patrol started. 18 citizens report solicitation and strawberry dispatch week in 18 copy that we're getting reports of some solicitation occurring in strawberry we're gonna head to that scene and check it out it's gonna be right up ahead so essentially what we're gonna do we're gonna get on scene we're gonna try to set up in a spot where we're not too obvious and then from there, we'll observe to see if there's any illegal activity occurring. The reports were coming from this area up ahead. Don't see anything at the intersection. Right, we're going to pull through here. Okay, so we've spotted, okay, I see her. It's hard to see since it's nighttime, but there is somebody on the left side of the roadway up here and we're getting spotted apparently. So what I'm gonna do here is back up a little bit to run down that meter. And uh, actually let's pull forward here and I'll just park right over here. Should be able to see her. You know, I'm always down the line with you. All right, so I got eyes on her here. Um, this is, uh, I feel like this is a pretty good spot. She is walking up to a SUV that just pulled up. Looks like a baller, silver in color. Looks like there's some type of interaction. Now she's walking back to the sidewalk. So occasionally uh, she'll go up to a car and try to see what that individual is interested in. I don't know, maybe negotiate a price and if they don't come to a, an agreement, she walks back. It's like she's walking to another car now. We got a lot of pedestrian traffic out here. It's 11 p.m. at night. So we got a sedan. Oh, 
Oh. Four. No further units required. So apparently we burned this spot. I guess when she was walking over to that other car, she no noticed us just sitting here. So we actually just got burned. She saw we were undercover. So she's now leaving the area. So we'll go ahead and uh, try to regroup and find another spot where we can try to catch some illegal activities. Calling unit one, Lincoln 18, citizens report, solicitation in Textile City. Copy that dispatch. So dispatch is sending us now to Textile City. Same concerns about uh, solicitation ongoing. So this time we'll try not to get caught. Be about a quarter mile ahead. Yeah, I just, I guess I didn't take into factor that when they move to go look at the cars, their circle of awareness also is gonna move with them. Which makes sense. So we got noticed. The reason we don't go code two or code three to the scene is this mission is about remaining undercover and uh, trying to keep a low profile. So if we were responding lights and sirens to the scene, they would obviously realize a police officer was somewhere in the area. It's going to be at the end of Little Bighorn Avenue. Okay. So the area of interest is going to be up here on the left side. We'll do a drive by and see if we can notice anything. A couple people on the right hand side. Looks like uh, it's going to be up ahead there. So what I'm going to do, cut off my lights and flip around. And then we'll just hang out here at the entrance. And then uh, we can see her perfectly from here. So it looks like it's going to be a white female on Integrity Way. And we'll see uh, if she gets in the car. So when she gets in the car, that's when we're going to perform the traffic stop. Sometimes I'll wait for probable cause, like a traffic violation to pull them over. And then from there, we can question them to what they were doing in the car. Um, sometimes we can trick them up by trying to get, separating them and then asking each other what their names are. I feel like that's a pretty good indicator because a lot of times people will lie. They're like, this is my friend, this is my girlfriend. Um, and then you ask what their name is and they don't know or they just only know a first name. So right there is a red flag, typically, and uh, from there, you know, if we feel like we have enough evidence, we can charge. Sometimes this can be used just as a scare tactic um, in terms of dissuading people from doing it because they know police are out and trying to catch them. So this, uh, this lady here, I'm not seeing a single car pull up to her yet, so I don't know if she is just in a bad area or she's not popular up oh, here's a car pulling all on the sidewalk right there can be our honestly our probable cause for a traffic stop driving on the sidewalk so she's walking up to the vehicle all right she is she's getting in the car there we go All right, dispatch just had a uh, potential customer here. Follow him for a little bit. Dispatch, can you get 1028? Point number is going to be 46 Edward Edward King, 572. Burning rubber at the. Under his license suspended. Oh, this is wonderful. Proceed with caution. I'm gonna go ahead and pull him over. We're right by the police station, too. Yeah. 
All right, dispatch Lincoln 18. I'd be out on a traffic stop involved with a uh, prostitute, potential prostitute. Do we have spotlights on this car? No. Okay, so I won't use that. All right, uh, I think this is pretty good here. Let's go ahead and make contact. Let's see what we got going on. How you guys doing tonight? I'm Officer Carson with the LSPD. Pulling you over today for a burning rubber back there at that intersection. I also saw you driving on the sidewalk. So before I begin, can I get some IDs, please? Thanks. Yo, we got Matthias is sick. Appreciate it. and Kate. Okay. All right, you two uh, hang tight. I'll be right back with you. What the heck? They have the same last name. That is interesting. I don't know if that's coincidence or if they're married. I'm going to run them real quick. Okay, there's Matias, valid license. So another reason, um, when we did the play check, they're actually coming back as to spend a license for registered owner. However, he appears not to be the registered owner of the car. And then uh, the female's name was Kate. All right, she actually has an arrest warrant. The destruction of pub public property right there. All right, so um, what I'll do, I'll continue to question, and uh, she's already going to be arrested, though. At the end of the day, she's got an arrest warrant out. So let's see if uh, they're up to something tonight. All right, passing, or, uh... Driver, can you go ahead and step out of the car for me? I just want to talk to you. Okay, so uh, who is this uh, lady in the vehicle tonight? She's my wife. Okay, what's her name? Um, Kate Koya. Where are you two going tonight? We're driving drive home like to our Bell. kids. How long have you known her? Celebrated our third anniversary. No, unfortunately, the story's kind of adding up here. How old is she? She is 54 years old. I'll have to confirm that. Okay. What the heck? This is... I've never had this interaction. This guy actually might be legit. Like, it's possible we've mistaken her as a prostitute. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so... um. Let's ask for the uh, passenger out so we can question her. Nineteen sixty three. Is that fifty four? Yeah, close enough. Yep. So we confirmed she's one in already. Um, let's start questioning her. Okay, why are you in this guy's vehicle tonight? Because he's my husband. What's the name of this guy? Matias Koya. How old is he? 58. Where are you two going? We're returning home to our children. So their stories match up. How long have you known this mill? Three years, officer. Their stories match up absolutely perfectly. So I, I, this is not a case of uh, prostitution right here. All right, ma'am, can you go ahead and step out of the vehicle? Unfortunately, you're going to be placed under arrest tonight. You've got a warrant. Police! Stop whatever the hell arrest. you're doing! All right, sir, you can go ahead, step back in the vehicle for me, okay? All right, just come right here for me. All right, sir, so um, what's going on? She's got an arrest warrant out, so I'm going to be taking her in, but uh, you are free to go, okay? Go on! Wait, stop! The universe demands us to chill. Bye. Bye. 
All right, the husband has left. We'll go ahead and search her. And then uh, we'll get a unit out to take her in to jail. She's got a small bag of cocaine, so that's possession charge as well. LSPD, freeze! So we can actually just take her in ourselves since the police station's literally uh, like 10 seconds away. Unfortunately, when I was dismissing the ped, it did crash LSPDFR. So in terms of actually writing up her charge sheet, I'm not gonna be able to do it because anytime you have to reload LSPDFR, it changes the names of the people. So there's no consistency there, however, she would be charged with the possession of the cocaine with the uh, arrest warrant. Pretty straightforward. Dispatch, we're going to be 1023 at the station. Turning uh, one in for booking. Let's go ahead and get her out of the car. And we'll process her in for booking. going to be going into the first cell on your left right in here ma'am all right dispatch Lincoln 18 we're going to be code 4 with this call show us back 10 8 attention unit 1 Lincoln 18 citizens report solicitation and strawberry dispatch copy that show me 1076 in route so we're gonna attempt to do another one tonight since we actually have not busted any prostitutes since the last one was actually just a husband and wife going back home. So we're headed back to Strawberry to see if we can uh, find someone we could potentially get off the street for prostitution. Okay, so uh, probably on this next street to the left. See if we can locate them. Yep, okay. It's actually gonna be the same spot we initially found. So what I'll do here is uh, actually pull through the intersection. You can see that awareness meter going up now. And uh, I'll flip back around. She's actually talking to a car right now. And they're driving away. So it's probably hard for you guys to see in the video, but uh, I, I've got pretty much a straight line of sight over there to that side of the road and I can see her faintly. Uh, she's back to standing on the side of the road. So we're gonna sit here. We're gonna wait to see if she gets in a vehicle if she does, we'll go ahead. Oh, here's another vehicle pulling over. So all these cars are driving on the sidewalk. That's an easy probable cause for a traffic stop right there. All right, she's talking to the car that's pulled over. Let's see what happens. It's been a minute. And she's walking back. I'm beginning to think this could actually be like a decoy from the pimps or something because I've seen her talk to at least 10 cars tonight. She has not done anything. So I, I wonder if this is like a setup to waste our time or not. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call off this call because we're not getting anything. She's just, she's literally just walking up to every other car and then the other car drives off so i just ended the call because we weren't getting anywhere with that 
and we'll go ahead in today's patrol so it was unsuccessful sometimes that happens in real life but through persistence you can make a difference in uh, trying to reduce crime by being out here every night and uh, trying to talk to these people so thanks for watching as always hope you enjoyed the episode and i'll see you in tomorrow's patrol <laughs>